Hey everyone, this is Jyoti. I hope you all are doing really good. Guys, I'm making this video specifically for the newbies, those who want to try their hands on back and so. So, in order to understand the back and so in a better manner, it is must to understand the hierarchy of the back and so first. So, at the top, user is placed. Under user, there is a strategy tag. And under the strategy tag, you can have n number of portfolios. And under portfolio, you will find legs. So back and so it has four level of hierarchy, which gives you multi-level control on your strategy and their execution, right? So we'll talk about each level one by one. First is user. So at the top level, we have a user which you can use to control your overall loss and profit trailing for that given particular trading day. Okay. So I'll take you to the back and so interface and show you where the user is placed. So this is the back end so use uh, interface and here in the user setting that is the user which is placed at the top level of the hierarchy this button is here right so you can use this to control your overall loss overall profit and trailing right for that particular given trading day so as you can see under max profit and uh, under maximum loss you can set any figure let's say I want 15,000 rupees as my maximum profit and maximum loss, let's say 5,000 rupees for that given particular trading day. So you can just enter the figure here and it will take care of it. Okay. Uh, you can also set the square of time. Do you see this button here? A square of time. You can also set the square of time for the user. At the square of time of the user, all underlying strategy and the portfolio will be squared off. Okay. A default user will always be there since the installation. Okay, as you can see that this is the default user which will always be there since installation. Please ensure that the user is enabled. By enable, I mean just tick this box. Okay, and it ha should have a correct setting as per your requirement. Okay, so user can have n number of strategy tags there we have casted no limit onto it you can make n number of strategy tags okay so at the second level we have the strategy tags uh, which you can create multiple strategy tags as per your need a strategy is basically a grouping mechanism for that portfolio multiple portfolio can be created and tagged to a strategy tag and this can be used to manage the portfolio as a group each strategy tag can have its own maximum loss maximum profit which can be used to control all uh, portfolio where you have selected the same tag okay so i'll take you to the back end so interface and show you where the strategy tag button is there okay so do you see this button here the strategy just click on it and you can make n number of strategy ta tags as you can see that we have casted no limit onto it you can make n number of strategy tags and uh, the strategy tag is basically a grouping mechanism for the portfolio okay so do you see this button here click here to add new row if you click here under the strategy tag you can make any uh let's say i want to group it under xyz uh strategy tag so i'll just uh, write the name of the strategy tag and press the enter button right so this way you can now uh, use to group your uh, portfolios okay and uh, with this button that is a strategy tag you can have your own maximum loss maximum profit right which can be used to control all the portfolio where you have selected the same tag okay and uh, now the question arises how to group them right so i'll just uh, click on the multi leg and here and you see this uh, button add portfolio so when you make your portfolio, right, suppose I want to create a short straddle portfolio. So it will ask you whether uh, you want to group it under default strategy tag or under the newly created strategy tag. So herein you can use it to select or to group your portfolios under a strategy tag. Okay. So suppose uh, you have four straddle executing and you need to set the maximum loss for all the four then a strategy tag can be used so this is the benefit of it okay please ensure that uh, please ensure that this uh, it should be enabled okay uh, just stick on it whether you want to group all your portfolio under your xyz then you have to enable it just take this okay 
So please note that. Please ensure that your strategy tag is enabled and the user is selected under the tag. Okay. So this is about the user and the strategy tag. Now going back to the hierarchy, under the strategy tag, you can have n number of portfolios there. Also, we cast we have casted no limit onto it. You can make n number of portfolios. Uh, so this is the third level, right? So at the user is the first level, second is the strategy tag, and third is the portfolio. So at the third level, we have the portfolio. Portfolio is the name we use for the multi-leg or an option strategy. Here, you create whole option strategy with the multiple settings given to control the execution. You can refer to our help document. I'll quickly showcase it to you where you will find the help document. So in order to make the portfolio, uh, just click on the multi-leg, click on the add, add portfolio. And herein you will find the help document, right? So you can refer to an help document by clicking on it, which explains each of its settings and their use. If you use it properly, then these settings will facilitate you to create n number of permutations and combinations. Okay. So at this level, that is portfolio level, you will specify all the parameters and you can set combined target, combined stop loss, which will be applicable at the portfolio level. So let's suppose I am clicking on the short straddle portfolio. This is my short straddle portfolio and it has automatically populated the strikes, right, of the short straddle, wherein we sell ATM CE and ATM PE, right? So this is my short straddle portfolio. And if I want to set combined target and a stop loss. So by combined target and a stop loss, I mean that I want to set a stop loss and target onto my portfolio. That is this uh, short straddle portfolio combined as a combined, not on the individual legs. So I don't want to specify uh, target and a stop loss onto the individual legs. Rather, I wanted to set on combined uh, that is uh, onto the portfolio, overall portfolio, right? So this also you can uh, achieve that just by clicking on the target setting and the stop loss setting. So you can have uh, multiple types of target types and multiple uh, stop loss types, okay? This I have already covered it in my videos. You can refer that. Now, going back to the hierarchy of our backend. So under portfolio, you can uh, have eight legs okay at the fourth level we have legs most option strategies they have up to four legs which we support uh, but we support up to eight legs legs they are the individual strikes which is going to be trade this can be selected uh, based on the atm based on the uh, strikes greeks or, or based on the premium okay so i'll just quickly showcase it to you so as you can see that if i want to select strikes based on my based on atm strike uh Greek or based on premium then you can just uh, use this uh, feature okay so suppose i want to add the premium or the Greek leg then i'll just click on it and add leg button so it will allow me till eight legs okay so as we know that most option strategies, they have up to four legs, but we support up to eight legs, right? Uh, so at the leg level, also you can set target and a stop loss trailing. So as you can see, this is the individual leg. So here in you can use this to uh, set the stop loss onto your individual leg. You can use target also. You can set target onto your individual uh, legs. So this also we have given you the control of we can uh, even we even allowed leg actions depending on the target on to the stop loss so on target on a stop loss if it achieves then you can uh, uh, create a chain reaction also right suppose you want to re-execute it you want to re-enter it so you want it uh, the uh, leg to be in the running condition so you can use all these conditions on target and on a stop loss so this is how we have given you a multi-level control on your strategy and their execution so i hope uh, this hierarchy is clear to you